f of x is equal to mod of x minus 3. So, modulus of x minus 3 means already we have discussed the modulus function. Domain of modulus function is real numbers that is all. So, here domain is equal to r minus infinity comma infinity. So, fifth one here fifth one is f of x is equal to root of 4 x minus x square. Now, to define root of 4 x minus x square, 4 x minus x square must be greater than or equal to 0. So, solution 4 x minus x square greater than or equal to 0 multiply with minus 1 x square minus 4 x less than or equal to 0, x common x into x minus 4 less than or equal to 0. So, here x lies between 0 and 4. So, 0 less than or equal to x, x less than or equal to 4. So, domain is equal to closed 0 comma 4. Sixth problem, sixth problem f of x is equal to 1 by root of 1 minus x square. Now, in this case 1 minus x square must be positive and 1 minus x square does not equal to 0. That is why 1 minus x square must be greater than 0, that is all. Multiply with minus 1, x square minus 1 less than 0, x plus 1 into x minus 1 less than 0. So, here x lies between minus 1 and 1, therefore, domain is equal to open minus 1 comma 1. Next, seventh problem f of x is equal to 3 power x by x plus 1. Here, both function rational function f of x by g of x. f of x by g of x means now to find out this one domain of 3 power x intersection domain of x plus 1. Domain of 3 power x is actually that is a real number r only. Now, domain of x plus 1 means actually here x plus 1 should not be equal to 0. So, here x plus 1 does not equal to 0. So, x does not equal to minus 1. Domain is equal to it takes all the real values except to minus 1. So, domain is equal to r minus 1. Next, eighth problem, eighth one f of x is equal to root of x square minus 25. Now, f of root of x square minus 25 means x square minus 25 must be greater than or equal to 0, maybe 0 greater than 0. So, x square root x square minus 25 greater than or equal to 0. This is a square minus b square form. We write x plus 5 into x minus 5 greater than or equal to 0, x less than or equal to minus 5 or x greater than or equal to 5. So, domain is equal to minus infinity comma minus phi union phi to infinity. This is equal to r minus open minus phi comma phi. Ninth one f of x is equal to root of 
x minus bracket x. So, here also already we have discussed x minus step x greater than or equal to 0, x greater than or equal to step x. As for the definition of the step x itself only, step x is always less than or equal to x. That means, for all real values of x by the definition of here step x is less than or equal to x for every x belongs to R. Therefore, satisfying the same condition only domain is equal to R that is minus infinity comma infinity. Next, tenth one f of x is equal to root of step x minus x solution. Now, this step x minus x greater than or equal to 0, step x greater than or equal to x. Already we have discussed here step x is always less than or equal to x for every x belongs to R, but greater than x, but it will be possible only one case if you put x is equal to 0, what happens now? Step 0 equal to 0, this is true, that means if x is equal to 0, it possible, that is why here domain is equal to only one element 0. Second problem, find the ranges, ranges of the following real valued functions. real valued functions. So, first f of x is equal to log of mod 4 minus x square. Log mod of 4 minus x square means here. So, here logarithm of any value is a real number only. So, that means its range is R, range equal to R that is minus infinity comma infinity. Second one, f of x is equal to root of step x minus x. Already in the disc previous we have discussed domain of this one is only one element x is equal to 0. If you put x is equal to 0 here, we get 0. So, here only one possible range is equal to 0. Solution range equal to 0. Now, third one. f of x is equal to sin of pi of step x by 1 plus step x square, here solution. See, step x is nothing but greatest integer function, that means integer. So, here now f of x is equal to if you take sin pi of step x by 1 plus step x whole square. This will be sin of n pi, it comes under. Sin of n pi is always 0, 0 by something is 0. That means, range we get always 0 only. Therefore, range is equal to 0. 